Hi, ever wonder what it's like to work another profession or live in the underworld? Listen to Unsuspecting Riders give a 10 to 15 minute personal masterclass as I spontaneously interview them as they enter my taxi. I'm your host, Simon Rushton, and this is Taxi Chronicles. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode of Another Rider. Today we're all the way in West London and we've got a nice, interesting gentleman called Ahmed and um, he works for Amazon and he's going to tell us about what it's like to work in Amazon, why he took that job instead of working in McDonald's or whatever else and um, what else he's doing in life. So nice to have you here today, Ahmed. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes. How so, you been? Why did you, why did you choose Amazon? Amazon, right, well... Uh, my friend introduced me to it. Obviously, you know, it's lockdown, so there, there hasn't been any... There's not a lot of jobs available. So, man's just finished school, and then my friend told me, yo, there's a job available there, and I just took up the offer and just applied. And oh, you got it? Yeah, just got it straight away. So, he referred you. Yeah. Uh, he's your reference, so yeah. he vouched for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you heard, did you buy him a drink? I bought him a little Dr Pepper, yeah, because he <laughs> likes the Dr Pepper and that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So, when you was going to Amazon, what did you expect it to be like? I don't know. I expected. I don't know how. What would you? Would you think? Would you think Amazon is like? I, I well, I've been told. So yeah. It's a bit hard for me to say on a neutral basis. Yeah. Because you're not my first interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, I'm wondering what you expected it to be like to what it actually turned out because to be like. I start. I started at Amazon like four months ago, so I can't remember what I thought it would be like. And then, okay. because I've been there for a couple of months, it's just the norm to me. Do you understand? Okay. So, was it your first job? Uh, it's my second job. I used to be a football coach for um, little kickers in Osterley. Okay. That's yeah. Good. All right. So we'll probably jump up to that in a minute. Yeah. But all right. So what's a typical day like for you in Amazon? Um. Well, I catch a train from Clapham Junction all the way to um, Byfleet. Then I um, go in, walk into the warehouse, clock in. I have like five minutes to chat with some friends. And then I go line up. We line up for our jobs. We get different jobs on a, on a, on different days, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. So you're not assigned to like this warehouse duty. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're assigned to like, there's different sections of, of the warehouse you're assigned to. And so usually I'm called some, I'm something called a spider. That's where I, I I wrap all the parcels and and take them all to the outbound where they're t- they're put in their trucks and oh, taken away. The, you put the Amazon tape on there. No, I just um so the so my my warehouse is a uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Well, it holds the goods and then you have to grab them from the shelf and box them? No, no, no. It's The goods are already boxed. They come in. We're just sortation. That's what it's called. It's a, okay. a sortation um, warehouse. Okay. So what we do is the, the the parcels come to us already wrapped and then we take them and we put them in the, um, in the cages and we wrap them, put them to a certain uh, staging mm-hmm. area has the number and it goes to a certain area and then from there they take it to a delivery um area and then they deliver it from there okay so is it in is it an enjoyable hot job are there any perks you get discounts uh, you no, your headphones when you're doing it no i try to get away with my headphones sometimes i have to try and put my hood up or, or put a hat over it but yeah no we don't get no discounts i was looking for it i thought we was going to get amazon prime discount or something like that but unfortunately, we so don't get that. You get Amazon Prime free for your home. No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm 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 employed by um through an agency. Oh, that's why. They're, yeah, they're called PMP Recruitment. Oh, uh, so depending on the load. Yeah. Uh, workload. Yeah. And if you're with them permanently, you probably get some benefits. Yeah, with Amazon, you get some benefits. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Okay. So, is it something that you want to do to become permanent? Um. Are you studying? Or I don't, I don't think so. Before? I'm thinking um, soon I'm going to apply for an apprenticeship and try to get into some gas engineering. Okay. But okay. Um, for now, there's nothing, to, like, there's nothing for me to do right now, so get me just a little job for me to just pass time and make money. 
Do you know what? There's always something to do, my brother. Yeah. There's always something. You just have to look and see what's out there. Yeah, of course. To research of and, course. and keep an open mind when you're looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. I've heard some people say there's nothing to do or there's no jobs, but there's always something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember, immigrants, yeah. they find jobs like that. Yeah, of course. They have two and three and four jobs. Yeah. So that means for us who speak the language as a first language, oh, definitely. it's definitely something. Definitely. In, in that respect. 100%. Yeah, so you you said you spoke about you do the football. Yeah. What's that all about? So when I was studying, mm-hmm. I had a, I had another friend, and um, what were you studying? I was studying criminology, applied science, and IT. Oh, okay, why criminology? I don't know. I just I just in I think I, I just, that was my favorite subject, hundred percent. Was that um was that a diploma or A level? A level. Okay, so you got quite, you got some big brains then. Yeah, no, but I didn't expect, like, going through high school, I didn't, I, that criminology was not on my mind going through high school, like, secondary school. Like, that's not something I thought about. But then when I went and did the enrolment for my sixth form, my, I saw criminology, I read into it, and then that just became something I decided to do, like. So, right, moving, staying on the criminology side of things, yeah. what did you learn about criminology during your subject? studies there's a lot there's a lot of reasons why criminals commit crimes a lot deeper than what you think like their their upbringing their environment their surroundings and there's like there's a lot of mental towards it but then some people would say yeah that if you have a family of five yeah children yeah maybe one or two will be the black sheep but the others don't so yeah is it a good enough reason to say poverty? Poverty? No, I'm just saying, for example, is it a good enough reason to say, because if you've got five children all brought up the same way, yeah. some don't become criminals and some do, Yeah. is it really about... But I, unless unless you've, 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 you've been brought up in that family, it's hard to say. I don't know, like, maybe some of those children have been brought up differently or had different experiences growing up maybe whether it's in school or or do you get me like their who who they hang around with and their friends Mm -hmm. do you understand like i know friends are a very big part of of why criminals become criminals who they who they interact with and hang out with on a daily basis Mm -hmm. so maybe the oldest one never hanged around with guys that were around doing like hanging about doing criminal stuff but the youngest one had friends that was does that make sense so what you're saying is that because other other people may say wait a minute yeah. it's your choice who you want to hang around with yeah I, so even though you're a minor i, I you're... don't i don't think so you know because a lot of time like like for me i grew up with like i didn't choose who i grew up with like I choose I chose but I didn't really choose like I grew up with people in my secondary school that turned out to be to get me like, okay. criminals um, or the different side yeah, of, yeah but I've grown up with them and I've known them from young yeah. but that to me they're not criminals I know they're criminals but to me they're just who they was when I grew up with them mm-hmm. does that make sense but they weren't, for instance, when you were in eight second. years old, yeah. they weren't stealing yeah, no, tea bags or definitely. bottles of milk. No, definitely not. So there's some transition. 100%. And yeah. maybe it's, it's who they met through secondary school. Or I feel like secondary school has a big part to play in, in why youngsters become criminals. And secondary school and, and music and all that, all that sort of stuff has a big part to, to play. And music. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't, but, but it, then, it's a big influence. You, all right, let me ask you something. What's the difference between music and films? Because in the films, you see people mass murder, ethnic cleansing, rape, um, yeah. um, horror stuff. It's yeah. All manner of things, but... I don't know, but I feel like people look up to artists more than actors because actors are playing a role. Artists, they, they claim to be re- living that life. Yeah, but... And, in many, go, go on, sorry, go and on. actors like artists pe- a lot of people look up to artists and a lot of the artists like their rappers and that claim to have come from 
a, a life of crime and, and of selling drugs and, and murdering people and that sort. And so when people grow up, they want to be like, oh, I want to be like this rapper or I want to be like this rapper. But actors, actors just act in a role. More time is, 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 is just made up stories. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. So, but um, some people would say, though, yeah. even though you're acting a role, yeah. it's a bit more than that. Um, so even though you're claiming that you're from the streets, yeah, it's it's still that's your life. It's not necessarily mine. Yeah. Do you, do you see what I mean? I, I, it's it's just a very it's a very big topic though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very like there's a lot of opinions in 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 that subject between, but they do they do this, the same sort of thing like movies. They portray crime and yeah. a lot of things like that, same as rappers. Uh-huh. But rappers, I feel like rappers are more like you don't watch films every day, or the youngsters they don't watch films every day and they don't watch films on repeat every single day. But music, they listen every day. Yeah, they listen to so it every day. It's, 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 would, would it be fair to say it's a form of indoctrination? Indoctrination. Yeah, because if you listen to something again and again, it's seeping into your mind. Yeah, definitely. Um, the same way someone can listen to motivational stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, and those kind of things. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, quick question. Yeah. Um, quick last two questions. Yeah. What's the impact you want to have on the world? Well, that's a big question, isn't it? Mm. That is a very big question. I think you're the man to answer the question. I feel like the impact I want to have on the world... I don't know, I just want to be, um, how do you say this? I just want to just be known. I just want to be known myself. I don't know if I can have a very big impact on the world. On the world is very big. Do you yeah. understand? Like, like we're talking about continents and, and many, many, many countries. <laughs> but I just want to be known. I just want to be known as a guy of being at me peace and to get me spreading love and posi- like positivity and... Do you get me? Be yeah. inspirational. But Inspire the, people. Okay. The impact you have on the world, it's still the world, though. Because 100%. you may not meet everybody. 100%. But it's the impression that you give. 100%. If you see what I mean. Yeah. But anyway, thanks a lot for that. Thank you, Sorry Baba. Interview's so short. Yeah, no, it's all right. And um, we Maybe wish... I'll catch you again next time. Yeah, we wish you well. We hope you liked that interview. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get the latest daily episode. Ever considered investing in the continent with the fastest growing economy and population on Earth? The same continent that holds 30% of the world's known natural resources? Then listen to our sister podcast, Africa Investor Stories, where you will hear real investors with real stories from around the world share their experience of investing in Africa. We post Monday and Thursday at 10am.